Okay, we're gonna make a super duper commercial downspout diverter uh, to fill uh, to fill up a cistern from the five inch by four inch commercial downspout. This one's gonna be at the local uh, Henry Vila Zoo um, here in Madison, Wisconsin, and. Uh, that, that's the downspout. This is the diverter that we're using. We're actually going to use two diverters and uh, we'll make be able to make a first flush device and this is uh, what we're doing. So right now this is a saving rain diverter made for residential use. It also works with some commercial but this is a little heavy duty. Uh, we're going to widen out this opening so we're going to be able to come up from the bottom just like that and open it right up and uh, that mark you see is where we're gonna cut we're gonna cut that out bring it right up in there so it's up inside and bring this down from the top and uh, you will see how how it goes it's about a 35 40 dollar diverter and the rest is just PVC fittings and uh, here we go first thing you want to do here see there's these little uh, little support pegs is you want to take the support pegs and those are actually for for the filter they hold up the filter and they make sure the filter doesn't drop down in but we don't want them on that other side we're gonna end up using right. good enough vice uh, big enough vice to clamp the diverter and you don't want to clamp too tight you crack the plastic but it's a pretty tough diverter so I got it clamped down there pretty tight then you take your uh, handy dandy reciprocating saw and chop it right on those lines okay so I just hit, made two quick cuts one right down that shave the bottom off the other one I would cut right across there okay we left off I was just uh, cutting out the bottom of this one and modifying this I ran out of battery from my camcorder so here we are all finished up um, you can tell it's two saving rain diverters here uh, maybe you can't tell, but that's what it is. Um, they're sort of glued end to end. It's got a modified long filter with the stop right there where the downspout, a four inch by five inch downspout coming down, and we'll just add another section of it coming up, seamed right onto this top part. So basically, you just cut a section of the downspout out, pop it down in, and run this right inside the downspout as it goes down. What that does with it, like it, like it is. The filter blocks right here. This is a, a solid piece. Just basically used Gorilla Tape on this filter mesh. Um, taped it up. Water's going to hit this, flow down, and drop down through this filter and be filtered. And this is the same concept, same function as the saving rain diverter. Only what this is going to do is it's going to pull up like this and slide out from underneath because we're going to have that 4 inch by 5 inch commercial downspout solid all the way up there just notched out here to slide the filter in and out all right once it gets there as, it, as you see in the middle here drop down go down and be filtered this four inch pipe goes down to the first flush uh, filter that's just going to take the first bit of water coming down as it drops down and be uh, filtered out um, we got we can modify it here unscrew this piece um, we got an opening at the bottom to run straight down or unscrew this, like I said, and fill up as big of a first flush device as we need. For this area, 50 gallons would be ideal. We're, we're getting about 4,000 square foot of roof coming down to this downspot, potentially. Um, so plan for the max, and uh, now this, once it fills that up, it'll back up and overflow, and all of it will go down this 4-inch pipe, which goes to a 1,000-gallon cistern underneath the goat pen. Uh, winterization is um, pretty pretty much the same as the saving rain diverter simple form um, this is in the summer where it's operating in winter time basically just take this out this is the only thing you have to do take this out flip it upside down and it's probably easier to do with one with two hands but fold it like this right I see I notched the filter there so put it down in here and those notches go right over our 
bottom part of the downspout filter or downspout right there. Now that filter is cut so it holds down, holds down and sits right in here. So basically this also protects against any, any critters or animals or anything getting in. Now you have water going down from your downspout and it essentially created an entirely whoops <laughs> an entirely solid downspout all the way through as wide as the downspout is no restriction flow through uh, for a freak torrential downpour in the middle of winter so that's it there's a windrised commercial downspout diverter and this is as maintenance free as it gets pretty much um, obviously with the filter you gotta check it and you gotta empty it if it does get clogged up but it's a nice big filter so you got some all right there's the rainwater on top and the city water on the bottom shooting out from our uh, cistern got her on and here's the goats hi goats <laughs> so that's pretty good pressure we got a irrigator pump And we got a thousand gallon cistern right down below underneath that. What was there? And the pipe from it's coming up there. Our diverter is right here. And that's how it fills. And we got it full. So, there we go. Henry Violet Zoo. Opening soon. The goat barn. Hi there. Bye bye. <laughs>